today's video we are plugging the front left tire on my 2006 GMC Sierra. I was going to show you some of the steps I did to accomplish this with a just simple plug kit that you can get at any store like Harbor Freight or Walmart. Also a little ride along in the truck as I went and take off trash and that's how we noticed that the tire was low was taking the trash off. So I hope you all enjoy today's video and on to the next one. Well, good morning folks. It's uh, the Monday after Christmas and we just took the trash off, try to beat the early crowd or try to be part of the early crowd. It is 8.23. Bought me some energy drinks. One for today, one for tomorrow. Just wanted something different than coffee. Um, anyways, today's agenda is we got a screw in our tire. And yeah, we're going to fix that. Just noticed the tire was a little bit slack this morning. And then we went to go drive dirt bikes yesterday. And the dirt bikes were, uh, well, one of them did fine. It just took a little while to get the, uh, little, the fuel in the bowl. But the other one, uh, we want to get a flat tire on it too. And I have a tube, which I don't know what went wrong, but it did. And I think I have another tube. We'll try to get into that. Um, also came out around nine o'clock last night and the dirt bike was pouring fuel. So that's not good either. Um, so hopefully it's just as simple as a Maybe cleaning out the needle and seat because now my garage smells really bad and it's done got into the house a little bit and my wife hasn't put two and two together but that's what's happened um i got the fan on in the garage and i got uh, the windows open so anyways that's today's agenda and we're just going on back to the house and we still got to finish the wall outlets uh, my cousin's supposed to be coming over to help with that, which would be greatly appreciated. Anyways, yeah, I'll take y'all along on this journey. Alright, so here's the uh, the bad boy. So, pretty much all I did was position the truck so I can change the screw on it, which was rolling the truck, you know, forward, back, and just kept getting out of the truck. Took about five times. Once I found a screw, went ahead and turned the wheel all the way out, but I don't want to take the wheel off just to plug it. So let me get the plug kit and the tire inflator and we'll change this out real quick. All right, so I got everything. I'll show y'all something I've been doing with the, uh, put gloves on, a little powder, especially if you've been doing something helps how these gloves go on? Easy peasy. So if you don't have a tire kit, highly recommend, recommend getting one. This is a blackjack. I think I bought off a Matco truck years ago. This is everything I keep in it. A pair of side cutters, a cheap knife, like really cheap. And then I just keep, I didn't add it couple packs of these over the years i probably have had this kit 10 years what i like about this one has metal handles so both of them is metal one of them's a a spike which is once we get this uh screw out we'll wind up reaming it and uh this one's actually the holder for the plugs and I just got these plugs, I think, at Walmart. You just buy, like, a pack of... It's, like, 30 or something. They come in several of these, like, packages. And also, we have lube. So, anyways, all we're going to do... I get my dikes. Traditionally, this is all I need. I just try to get under that head. It is a pain sometimes. So we're under it. I go. Let me go ahead and set up my spike, because part of not is not letting all your air out. So I just put a little bit of 
this lube on the spike. Not that really helps, but this is still a pain. So I just have it ready. Here's our screw. Our spike. Usually it's not that easy. We're still leaking, but I'll just show y'all. That's our spike. Our, our screw. You can tell we've been riding on it a while. But it probably should be a Phillips head. Anyway, so now we get our spike in and out a couple of times. Leave it in. If I was probably really serious about not letting air out, I would have had this part ready. This part's kind of a pain too. And I'll show you. Take your your plug. And guys, there's some people that like worry about like plugging it and all that stuff. I tell you like taking a tire off and doing patches on the inside and they got this like patch plug that you do from the inside. I've done it all. Uh, worked at a few tire shops. Um, I mean, it's probably once every six months I get one of these. It is, and this these have never failed. I've never had a tire leak after putting a plug in it. Just from a simple screw. So, so this part's kind of a pain. That's why I kind of positioned it up. Now I can use my body weight. You just want to lean into it. And it'll slowly go in. I'm putting all my force in it. So just. And then once you see. It'll go past the like. The wide part. And then this is where you got to be careful. Just go slow. And you just want a little bit of tag. About like that. Now I grew up. You would twist it. And there's no reason to twist it. Literally all you're doing. Is pulling it back out. And what it did was. It just pulls it back out of that that slit. I don't know why I turned it around. But now we're plugged. That's why I grabbed the L cheapo knife. It's all serrated, which is one reason I like it. And now I'm gonna take those tags. And what and the reason why you don't go too far in when you're doing this is because it'll just all of a sudden get super easy. And you'll shove that plug into your tire. That's why I just leave the tag. It ain't gonna hurt nothing. Just a little cut. And uh, that's it. So now I uh, I'll take my Milwaukee here. I'm gonna set it on. If so, if you never use one of these, just it's a standard battery in twelve. This battery don't last too long, but it works. You just plug it up, turn it on. Uh, this is how much pressure it's reading out this hose, which ain't hooked up. So we're gonna, I'm gonna hold the plus symbol down. It goes up by fives. We're gonna put it at 35. And see, so yeah, I stopped at 30. Just, yeah, I just do singles, no biggie. So that's what my target air is. We're gonna take our stem off. Just screw it on. That's the only kind of annoying thing is this isn't like a quick connect. It's a thread on, which is kind of nice because now you don't have to worry about going anywhere. But at times it has been annoying. And you got this uh, button at the bottom, you just hit it. And just for reference, I, pop, I topped off this tire before we left, which is around like 32. And which a little pipe put and driving it to the trash dump, put a little heat in the tire, raised it a little bit, so we're like 33. But still, you seen how nonchalant I was about putting the the spike in and reaming it, putting a plug in, like it was leaking air and talking to y'all. And we didn't even get below 30. So this is a big tire too. Just, you know, take your time and just do it smart and you'll be fine. And let's hit this. <laughs> While it's doing that, I'm gonna go get some soap. All right, I think I might've been out of frame for part of that, but all I did was hit this bottom button here and to turn it on. So it hit its, that's actual tire pressure. That's the target pressure. We 
got us some soap. I think it's nothing but car wash uh, detergent with some water. And we can hit it. Usually give it a second when you do this. Right, let me take you a little closer. And just look for any bubbles. Um, kind of let the other bubbles run off. And all of a sudden you'll just see one usually just get big. Or you'll see like these little micro bubbles. I don't think we see anything. So, like I said, that's how I uh, patch tires, plug them. We're at, what, I think this video is going to be like that scene, like five minutes or something. Super easy. Don't get too crazy. As long as you just got a simple screw, just do these little plug kits. No big deal. Never had one fail. I've driven 24 hours before with plug tires. No worries. Um, I did just repair my lawnmower tire. I actually put a tube in it. Any lawn equipment, just go ahead and put a tube in it. When I did it, I went ahead and put a patch over it, though, and then put the tube. And the only reason I did it in that case is because it was a little bit of a gash and not a uh, actual simple puncture. And I didn't want dirt to get in between the tube and the... Um, in the tire which could cause the tube to prematurely wet, uh, wear only reason i did that one like that wound up being super easy too though but anyways uh appreciate y'all coming by i'm gonna try to get on a dirt bike we got some uh weather as you can see it's kind of cloudy it's been misting kind of on me this morning i'm glad we was able to do this before it got too out of hand and uh appreciate y'all coming by I would love if y'all went ahead and click the like button right in here or dislike that's fine and uh, if you would like to subscribe and see more videos of like kind of a daily vlog of me performing maintenance on all my cars are like getting on 20 years old and they require constant maintenance. Good and bad thing because I don't have a car payment, but do require constant maintenance. So, I mean, as simple as this truck should be good and here I am fixing it. But anyways, uh, there's a subscribe button over here. If it is red, that means you're not subscribed, so you won't see when videos come out. You actually have to search me to, uh, to find when I put out new content. But if you turn it gray by clicking on it, then you'll uh, see videos come out. And also, a little bit below the like symbol, you go a little bit that way, you'll see a comment section. If you just leave me some uh, criticism or positive words or anything, uh, that you would like to see in the future. I would appreciate that. On to the next one, guys.